Now when you buy a rubber dam kit, it has got six items. One, this is rubber dam clamps for different teeth, maxillary as well as mandible. Rubber dam frame. I will tell you later about this. For ev every item, I will tell you later. A rubber dam sheet. This is 6 inches by 6 inches sheets. This is the template, rubber dam template. Then we have got rubber dam punch and rubber dam forceps. No. In, in a box, this is hygienic by Coltini USA. So all these clamps are color coded as you see and the function of each is written where these can be applied. So in the beginning you have to see each one carefully and slowly and gradually you come to know which one is which even without just you can you will just pick it up by seeing the just the nature of the clamp likewise all these clamps are numbered and under each is written for what or which tooth it can be used so we'll take up one clamp and I'll explain you how it can be worked up. These clamps comes in two forms. On this one is wingless and this is with wings. What I mean by wings is that here it is folded like this whereas in this there is no fold here. The wingless is easy to apply, but the winged one also is easy. It gives a more area, buccolingually, for operation of a working area. Now I will pick up number 7 clamp, that is this one green and green right so i'll turn around and put this into it and widen it and take it up now this has two wings and a horizontal bar the this portion this portion curved one makes, makes a C goes around the cingulum of the tooth the number 7 clamp is meant for mandibular molars rubber dam sheet this is a 6 inches into 6 inches now it comes as thin medium and strong but anyway I'll just explain you that this is spread onto the template and you can see the marks from the central incisor onwards till 8 for the maxillary teeth and similarly from the central to the 8 for the mandibular teeth and whichever tooth you want to expose you just mark it on it beginning it is always better to write right side of the patient and then here left side of the patient and this automatically tells that this portion will face towards the nose let's presume 
we want to expose the right side first molar so we mark it here this third molar second molar and first molar this is the rubber dam punch the punch has got five holes one two three four five now when you are regularly using it some of the tags that have been punched remains inside the hole so you must clean it like this so that it's free and the punch that you get is a good punch we are on for exposure of the right mandibular first molar so the the bigger ones holes are for the uh, uh, for the molars then next is for premolars and next is for the incisors so we make a choice of this and pick up a mark point and then go into it and reach the mark point and punch so we can see is punched then we must see here that the circle is without any tear is round if there is a tear is wrong you have to repeat it again we have punched it for 4 6 you can see the hole and uh, what we do is we pick up this rubber dam clamp see that the horizontal bar is always towards the back side that is distal side of the tooth always and then it is picked and uh, you put it in the center of the this thing hold it with one hand for example i hold it with my right hand and you slip this onto the horizontal bar and then you slip it the other side then it's all done so after this this rubber dam sheet is folded up so that you can see the two holes i do it again for you this is folded up so that you can see the two holes you pick up the rubber dam forceps and put it into the two eyes of the flanges of the rubber dam expand a little and lock it here now it's all done then uh, you go into the patient's mouth for example in this stage the on the model and you know it that this is the right side this is the left side and this is the portion which will face towards the nose is very important then go on to the 46 expand a little more so that the patient doesn't have any pain and while asking the patient does it pain or not you slowly leave it on to the tooth and take it off then you turn this like this now after this there are two ways of doing it on the buccal side you can just slip it like this in the mouth or if it doesn't come you hold it like this take the plastic instrument and extend and here you go similarly on the lingual side just pull it and you will see the hole here right and you just pick it up go like this and now it's all done so then you of course will place this 
below the rubber dam and hook it by stretching it bilaterally and similarly the lower portion bilaterally stretch and place it like this so this is all done the rest you fix it like this and fix it here fix it here and this all you have the mandibular molar is exposed beginning when you are first applying the rubber dam for if at the other time you have crossed your hundred you always make it secure with the help of a floss either you do it like this and keep it handy to be pulled out in case it escapes your forceps and in, into the mouth There's another method of application of rubber dam. Once you have made this, this is a preliminary which is essential for the both methods. But in the second method, what you do is you just slip it around the horizontal horizontal bar and then you slowly or you bring it forward and uh, try to slip it like this on one wing and likewise on the other wing now you have to look something like this right now you take the forceps put it into the eyes of the wings and in this case you can bring it on a tooth you can see the tooth and then you can place it on the tooth and slowly you can move it and the next step is of course you slip it down onto the wings and similarly here down onto the wings and here you have done your job again this clamp the rubber dam frame is fitted on it and you can hook it like this again same way as I do To remove the rubber dam from the patient's mouth, you put it into the one hole, then to another, and then you expand and don't rub it against the tooth. Bring it out now, it's all done.